what is going on YouTube welcome back to a, another video here uh, as you can see unboxing a crap ton of tools so basically what's going on is me and Mark are starting to get pretty pretty serious into this working on the truck thing so uh, we are kind of in the works of looking for a shop we have something I think that is lined up but he is working on getting everything figured out and we both have a good bit to figure out but uh, and financially is obviously the most important thing so working on that and in the meantime I uh, got a new toolbox here which we will go over and literally a crap ton of tools I thought it would be a good video to go through everything here and explain why I got it and whatever but first here let's go over the new toolbox snap on tool cart with the bed lined and sliding opening top not gonna be able to put anything in this yet cuz uh, I ordered a new set of mats for it so we are waiting for those to show up hopefully within the next few days but uh, got this thing all cleaned up uh, lubed and cleaned all the slides and actually buffed it came out really nice paint looks like great on this thing we had to go orange guys if you know me and you know the truck we, we had to do orange uh, already got a paper towel holder on the side here so honestly with tools here I don't even know where to start uh, I mean this isn't even everything there's still gonna be more stuff over the next few days but this is I think the bulk of it but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna try and pick here where to start we still have these three big tecton boxes I still haven't even opened yet but uh oh my where to start let's start over here so here we got some Nipex precise little wire snips snap on mini needle nose snap on mini pliers um, just got this today another snap on set kind of the long reach set and then uh, got a free set of wire snips with it wire strippers not wire snips um, some snap on picks which I have one missing because I have to see my snap on guy to get it fixed uh, Nipex long reach needle nose Nipex crimpers Nipex soft jaw vice grips basically these are good for grabbing on anything that uh, you know you don't want to damage or whatever Nipex hose clamp pliers uh, I thought these were gonna be like an amazing thing I can't wait to use them um, Nipex was a company I found because of Mark he actually found them first and I got these two which these are kinda like they're adjustable basically crescent wrench style plier and I just got the set and then I have the set of regular Nipex like channel lock channel locks coming or whatever um, a ton of stuff from Lang tool so Lang specializes in a lot of like one-off specialty tools like they make like a ton of diesel stuff compression test kits uh, fuel pressure testing kits they make all kind of crazy stuff we actually saw these guys at SEMA and he showed me a lot of their snap ring pliers there's one set there this big big ratcheting set right here and here's actually some interchangeable tips for them so he showed me a lot of their stuff and it is a little pricey but it's really nice stuff you can see these really nice vice grips that they make um, I got a set of their I mean, I, there's just so much stuff here this is just ridiculous but got a set of their punches nice long reach punches uh, this one I thought was pretty cool I'll show you guys this so we're gonna go over here this is a brake bleeder kit these are an 8 and 10 millimeter wrench and you can see in there there's a piece of hose in there and then a nipple on the back there so you just literally push this on to the brake bleeder put your hose on there and it's an all-in-one crack it close it 
nice little assembly. This was like 60 bucks, a little pricey. Kind of curious to see how it's gonna work. Um, it's actually, this is an eight and 10 millimeter wrench. And then this is standard three eighths and quarter inch. So pretty cool. Curious to see how it works. You can see in there, there's a little anti-drain back valve so you don't get air sucked in. But uh, yeah, so we will see on that. Here are some Dominator. Well, the company's actually May, what is it, Mayhew pry bars. So this was another one I found out by Mark. Uh, he does a lot of tool reviews and everything. And if you guys actually go on his Amazon account, I don't know the details of how you find it or whatever, but everything that he bought so far, you can see. And so, like I said, a lot of this stuff I've found through him and the brands and whatever. This is a five piece big pry bar set and they have a striking end cap, which is really cool. And then this is a, a curved set, a little different got that um, here we have some plier organizers these also by mark very nice very nice this is Capri this is a Torx Torx Allen keys I'm not gonna be able to get it to stay open Torx Allen keys and I don't know what the correct name is for those these things but literally everything I mean, you can see size go the whole way from this big thing all the way down to that. I mean, it's just a full variety of everything. Torx, same thing, super tiny, all the way up to the big dogs. So, ton of stuff there. I think this kit was like 200 bucks. And that's the other thing, guys. I kind of just did this all at once. I literally have been waiting for this moment just been saving up a bunch of money to because I knew that this day was going to come where I was going to have to get a tool cart. Mark got the tool cart first and filled his out and it has been the best thing ever. It's so nice to be able to just roll this up to a truck. You have everything for the most part, everything in it that you really need. I mean, it's, it's just great. It moves around easy. Um, so yeah, I've been waiting to do this and it is uh, very financially expensive, but gonna be worth it I think so here we got some tecton dead blows mark uh, uses the uh, trusty cook hammers they are great just a little expensive I didn't really I couldn't find a nice like kit like this and uh, so I kind of just saw these and grabbed these I mean for the most part a dead blow is a dead blow uh, here we have some long extensions half inch and a 3 8 super long extension Oh, what else? Oh my gosh. These are some Sun X swivel sockets. These actually Mark got me as kind of a little little gift for something. I can't remember what the circumstances were, but uh, we have some Tecton ratchets in those box boxes. We're gonna get those uh, all opened up. Uh, these gloves, great for working on stuff. Same thing, found these through Mark, he found them. And then over here, get my phone out of the way. Same company as those big pry bars over there. These are like chisel scrapers with a strike end cap. And this stuff is very reasonably priced too, guys. I mean, like, same thing here with like this Lang company and Snap-on. I love some of the stuff they make, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna give you guys an idea here. So this set here, and then I also got, which, Hang on. I also got this set because me and Mark are gonna trade because he has the orange set and he has a green toolbox, so we're gonna trade. I got him the green we're, and I'll trade for the orange. So this set here, get out of the light there. This set here, this set here, and those two orange pliers was about $480. So that gives you an idea of snap-on versus the rest of this stuff. Same thing with Lang. Lang, I got a pretty small amount of things. I believe the only thing I'm missing is I got another set of these um, coming that are just a straight tip, not the right angle like that. But uh, another thing from Lang up here, I forgot. 
is this this is a really nice kit but same thing with Lang it was about 500 bucks for I mean I guess I got a decent amount of stuff but this is I mean this is a really good company very high-end stuff USA made you can see just a, another snap ring variety thing there with a bunch of interchangeable tips and whatnot but so my point is like snap on Lang those high-end companies you really got to kind of pick and choose what you need in my opinion is I think a lot of the stuff you can get wrapped up into a lot of money like wait till you guys see all of the Tecton stuff I got I'm gonna tell you the number now I spent 1500 bucks on Tecton and you wait until you see all of the stuff that is in these boxes for fifteen hundred dollars if it would have been snap on I easily would have been five five to ten grand I bet and and stuff so you got to kind of pick and choose so Nipex not too bad like some of these specialty pliers are like 60 80 bucks but for the most part the Nipex stuff is pretty reasonably priced uh, but I think that's about it for now I'm gonna try and reorganize some of this nonsense and uh, make some space here I really wish I could start filling the toolbox but can't do that yet I gotta wait for those new mats they should be here in a day or two so but yeah wow that's a lot so I'll catch up here in a minute see we got some stuff a little bit more organized here you can see uh, all the Nipex stuff long reach needle nose soft jaw hose clamp crimpers these are really nice these snips I really like these and then all of the snap-on stuff I actually went and got these were marks I gave him his green ones and got the orange ones his had a little bit of rust on them so we tried to clean them up as best we could but yeah if you don't keep these tools like oiled really well they get surface rust on them really quick these snap-on things so but got the long the uh, long reach needle nose cutters pliers normal set with the duck bills and then uh, small pliers small needle nose and these are really really nice they lock close that's what that that is right there but yeah these are really nice wire strippers um, they came with the long reach ones uh, the Lang already went over a lot of that stuff but uh, yeah it's nice to see it all organized and I really don't know how we're gonna organize the uh, shelves it's gonna be interesting there's a lot of stuff probably won't fit at all we're gonna definitely try the next thing is is let's get all of that uh, tecton stuff opened up all right so got some stuff unboxed here figured this was a good place to stop got the uh, ratchets unboxed this is their three-quarter inch ratchet I mean you can see like how massive the head is on that thing um, I did get a set of three-quarter inch ratchets or not ratchet sockets just to have this is their long reach half inch ratchet I believe it's good to up to like 500 foot pounds or something pretty tough not uh, you know pretty fine tooth uh, clicks there too for a half inch ratchet and then uh, half inch breaker bar which kind of wish I would have got the three-quarter breaker bar uh, not gonna lie as you can see I mean the ratchet and that are kind of like the same length but anyway so these are from Wesley machine and these are their socket holders uh, to give you an idea what's in these boxes we will use every bit of every single one of these uh, I'm probably gonna have to order more but I just figured I would start somewhere and get their kind of kit and and whatever this is supposed to be orange thought it'd be cool but you know it's really not the same color but it's a thought that counts but uh, yeah very very high quality you'll see how nice the uh, sockets fit on here just really really nice um, I believe this this all this all right here was like 200 well no like 180 bucks so not too bad but uh yeah they'll they'll be nice in there you, you guys will uh, see how nice they are again found these because of mark so but uh, yeah 
Kind of just wanted to take a second and stop. Got the one trusty hook hammer in that I ordered. Their hammers are really nice. I kind of wish I would have just ordered all of them, but I mean, I like that little Tecton set, and I don't know. Hammers can get expensive pretty quick at 20 bucks a pop. But uh, yeah, they, they have a really nice lineup for sure. You see their ball peens are pretty expensive, but yeah, so. Now I'm gonna try and get this stuff out of the way and uh, start opening these. So yet again, a bunch more stuff came in just in the past few hours. And by the way, guys, this video is gonna be like over the course of a few days. I mean, of all this stuff just coming in and whatnot, there's so much to go over. Literally set up a table in here to just get some extra space. This was one thing though, was these uh, parallel, parallel opening snap ring pliers these are really good for like lock rings and whatnot so um, I mean if you guys remember from the Allison build series you cannot ever seem like you have enough of like lock ring and snap ring pliers so I went pretty hard on that stuff the uh, other Nipex set came in here so now we have a full set of the Nipex pliers these are really nice because you can see on these, let's see if we can get a, like a good background here. The focus, come on. Come on. All right, not gonna focus. But anyway, the jaws, the teeth go the opposite direction. So when you like, you know, grip something with those, they really bite into whatever you're trying to grab nice and hard and work pretty darn good these are another cool tool that uh, I saw so these are for hoses if any of you have ever taken a rad like a rad hose or a coolant hose off you know that they can be really tough to get like like sometimes worked loose or whatever so that's what these are for is these slide in there and you can you can pull the hose off with these so I'm really really excited to try those out at some point um, some Allen keys from Tecton. I mean, I, I literally only got one of those boxes done. You can see the uh, stubby wrenches there with the ratcheting ends. Um, the uh, these this metric set here with flex heads. The crow foot set metric and standard. I got the, a set of three ratchets here with the you know the full 360. Or maybe not 360 180 whatever head um, and then a bunch of different sockets so I'm gonna keep kind of unboxing stuff and showing you guys what's in there all right so I got another box open it was literally just entirely sockets but I uh, thought this was pretty cool it was the three-quarter inch stuff so starts one inch all the way up to inch and a half this one starts at 27 all the way up to 38 I mean that's a beefy socket there so very nice stuff nice cases um, yeah I just wanted to show you the three-quarter the rest of this stuff I'll pretty much wait to show you guys until we get it start putting it all on those uh, racks and probably wait till I get my mats and all that stuff so all right, so uh, got a lot of the got everything from Tecton out of the boxes. Um, you can see here just a normal wrench set, metric and regular. I'm not going to be doing those tonight, but I have all the stubbies um, in there things and these combination ones. Uh, here's some of their ratchets. Which here's one thing I want to point out is like this is a quarter inch Tecton ratchet, and this is a snap-on quarter inch ratchet and the snap-on one has the adjustable locking handle but what you can see is look at the height difference of the heads the snap-on one is still much taller than the Tecton one um, Tecton stubby quarter inch Stubby 3 8 which is probably my most commonly used thing right here. Just it just is like really handy. Uh, my goodness, there's so much I don't even know. 
where to start extensions oil filter wrenches all kinds of adapters there's the quarter inch stuff um, I will try and show I said I wasn't gonna show you guys the sockets but it'll be easier I showed you the three-quarter inch metric and standard so what are these here we got three eighths shallow uh, standard and then the same thing in metric oh these are these are 12 point those are six uh, what's this here this is half inch half inch shallow metric deep 12 point um, half inch standard metric deeps standard deeps uh, what's underneath there three eighths stuff I mean like I don't know there's just so much here it's like mind-boggling I really wish I could be like putting some of the stuff in the box but uh, with the sockets I'll be able to show you more when we get them on these and get them in the top of that thing but uh, that's most of it there's little gonna be little bits and pieces still to come so uh, yeah uh, I don't even know what to say at this point so uh, but yeah that's that's most of the stuff and when anything else comes in I'll uh, show you but we're gonna start working on that box as soon as those mats come hopefully tomorrow all right guys with that being said we are actually gonna wrap this video up uh, that's pretty much the bulk of everything that I bought and I tried to go over it and explain some of it and but honestly there's so much that it's just like I mean like it is just insane so that's gonna wrap it up for now uh, told you why I got some of the brands why I tried to explain why I got most of the stuff and whatever so the next video though I will start when we get those mats actually for the toolbox and I'll kind of like show organizing the toolbox and um, what the final outcome is of the toolbox and everything and if we are going to be able to fit all of this stuff which let me know what you think I think we got too much stuff here not a problem we'll find a place for it but uh, yeah really appreciate you tuning in guys nothing uh, has really had happened with the truck kind of on hold for right now but we'll get back to that soon but uh, yeah again thanks for tuning in thanks for all the support to the channel and we will see you on the next one